so hot. You're definitely cooler. Hello, guys. Hello. So it's been almost a year since we bought Kuho his colorblind sunglasses, and that video to this day is still getting a lot of comments and questions. So we thought we'd do a Q&A, and we actually asked you guys if you've ever had any questions you wanted to ask a colorblind person. So we chose some of those questions, and we're going to answer them today. And also another reason why we wanted to make this video is because we found out that a lot of people still don't really know about color blindness. Right. So the first question, can Kyuho not see any colors or is it just some colors that he can't see? Okay, so before we get into my color blindness, I wanted to point out that there are four main types of color blindness and we're gonna list those up here, but mine is Dutan. Du I can't really see red and green properly. But what we noticed is a lot of people think color blindness is like you can't see any colors at all. Like it's just like black, white, and gray filter. Mm -hmm. And that is a type of color blindness, but it's rare. Yeah. Color blindness in general is not that uncommon, yes. especially among men. So one in 12 yeah. uh, men are color blind. We'll show a couple images of the different types of color blindness. Mm -hmm. Kuho's Dutton type, there's a lot of missing saturations in color when it comes to the reds and greens. In addition to different types of color blindness, there are also different severity. There's a mild Dutton, moderate Dutton, and strong Dutton, and then it goes to other color blindness as well. And yeah. mine is strong Dutton. Yeah. So yours is quite a strong form of color blindness, yeah. basically. Next question, how did you learn that you were colorblind? Oh, we did this colorblind test when I was an elementary school student in Korea. Fifth grade or sixth grade, I don't quite remember, but the teacher just told us to come in uh, one by one. And then she showed me just this book with all these kind of dots with different colors it's like a circle sometimes. circle yeah, yeah number in the middle number yeah yeah usually it's number anyway the teacher told me to read whatever you see and uh, I really didn't know what it was <laughs> I was like well, read what she flipped the pages and I start to kind of see the numbers so I, I did the test and then the teacher said stand to this side and uh, went outside there were about like five or six other boys and uh, we were kind of like high five because we didn't know. We thought we were, it was kind of super superpower. Yeah, yeah. We, we thought it was we were special, but uh, later on we forget out. You know, have a defi deficiency. But uh, she called your mom. Yeah, she called my mom, and mom was really shocked. So we went to see the eye doctor, and there we did a little more thorough test. Mm -hmm. And the doctor said, yeah, he he's two ton. He can't really see certain colors and I remember my mom was like oh, oh. that's how yeah I'm just like hmm? like you know there's no problem I thought there yeah. was no problem living until that day yeah, until that day <laughs> that yes. damn book <laughs> do you have any family members who are also colorblind mm. your mom did some digging I don't know my mom said that her brothers are all fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Does it usually come from the mom's side? It's so much less common in women because we have two X chromosomes. Yes, they can be a carrier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think it's every one in 200 women has color blindness and one in 12 men. Yeah. So that's like a pretty big difference. That's right. But uh, we've still yet to find out who is to blame. I don't think I can find out. <laughs> no, it's like way back there. No. Does Kuho have a favorite color and has that changed since getting the glasses? Yes. I used to like the color black. <laughs> <laughs> and I always used to wear black, but um, after getting these colorblind glasses, I really like red. Red is just so vibrant and pretty. I didn't know how pretty red was. I remember those berries in Canada when we first filmed the first experience with the colorblind sunglasses. You told me, I remember you said, it's like somebody turned the lights on and yeah, they're glowing. It did. Yeah, that's why I got very emotional. What I always thought it, the color was mm -hmm. just changed everything and a huge shock for me. 
for those of you who didn't see the first video and you have no idea about like what these sunglasses <laughs> that we're talking mm. about. These are Enchroma sunglasses. This is not sponsored. Enchroma basically makes special glasses and sunglasses that help people with color blindness see colors close to normal visioned people. So it works differently for every person and for some people it might not work as well, but for Qho it happened to work really, really well, like more than we ever anticipated. So mm -hmm. when he wears these, he can see yeah. a lot more colors. Yeah. I can than... see like the normal people. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you see a difference in the vividness? Yes, very much. Is food a different experience being able to see the color? Mm. I have a specific memory about this, but you go first. No, you tell me. I forget where we were exactly. But this is the first time that we ate Korean food together after coming back to Korea. We were by window, so it was bright, and you were wearing your sunglasses. And we were eating, and you were like, oh my god, kimchi looks like this? <laughs> kimchi is like really red and bright, like orangey red. It has like the red pepper paste in it. So it was like your first time seeing real kimchi. This was in Jeju. That's right. Yeah, I remember. We went to this really cute little house style restaurants mm -hmm. and we had all these side dishes and you just couldn't believe how colorful everything was. With these sunglasses, I definitely kind of see food a little more appealing, especially like something with bread. Yeah. Yeah. So kimchi definitely was a huge shock. Yeah, like pajeon, like kimchi yeah. or something. Yeah. Like it's bright. But um, I don't wear that long while eating. I mm. usually like just put it down and then like eat because Food is food. Yeah, I gotta eat first. Taste is the number one thing for you, not visuals, I guess, <laughs> yeah. when it comes to food. Yes. In your personal opinion, what's the hardest thing about being colorblind? Mm, definitely clothing, mm. color matching, because that's, you have to, yeah. I mean, I struggle every day. That's my job. Yeah. Before I met Sarah, it was my sister's job. I would always, every morning, go to my sister's room and then ask, does this match? Things like that. But now I struggle with shoes. Literally, right before we came here, he was like, do these look good with this? And somehow you always pick the wrong, it just, it's just off. And I'm like, <laughs> no, no, those ones don't but how, match. That's the thing. I don't know why it's off. I think, for example, like if you wear tan shorts and you chose these like really cool charcoal gray sneakers, Gray and beige kind of like clash a little bit because the undertone is like warm and cool. <laughs> like he'll put in an outfit sometimes and I'm like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and also another hardest thing for me is charging devices. Mm. Sometimes, sometimes devices will have like, you know, very small LED light or something. Yep. When it's red, it's charging yes. and green is charged. <laughs> the question I always get, is that light, red, or green? Some devices can be very, very like... Sometimes the green is a little music. more yeah. yellowy yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's where it messes you up. Yeah, then I just have to leave it until like the next day and <laughs> you know, for sure I know it's charged. <laughs> One time I was like, is that battery charged yet? And you were like, no, it's still charging. But the light was green. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That's why all our devices are fully charged. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything you really wanted or want to do, like activities or jobs that your color blindness prevents you from doing? After that doctor's eye doctor's visit with my mom, the first thing my mom said, you can't be a doctor. And I said, uh, mom, I don't want to be a doctor well, anyway. A <laughs> Surgeon, absolutely no. not. If you're doing surgery, there's a lot of red and you have to like be able to distinguish like blood vessels and arteries and like all this different stuff and you can't see that so that would no. not be possible no actually there are quite few jobs that i i wouldn't be qualified yeah electrician i think yeah because you have to deal with a lot of the colored wires that lead to like specific things and I pilot think pilot like commercial pilot i think it depends they might do a test to see how severe your color blindness right. is interior design and decorating because there's very subtle color differences if you're mixing paint to paint someone's walls and you don't see the same color they're seeing or envisioning, then that's not really gonna work either. Actually, around in 2014, 15, I was learning interior, exterior design, 3D, like 
kind of modeling and yeah. computer. My friend who is kind of quite expert in that field, he wanted to teach me and kind of open business together. And he was teaching me and I was learning a lot of things. And one day he asked me to do a homework, copy this. And I did, and he was checking and he asked me, why did you put this texture? Because of the color, I couldn't even see the texture. Mm. It was all off, he said, yeah, you told me you were colorblind, but I didn't know you were, you know, it was that severe. Yeah. So I had to actually, I had to quit that pursuit. Yeah, it was kind of sad. Now we're doing filming, mm -hmm. but it's Sarah's job to do color grading. Yeah, because I can't see the color. Sometimes I don't really appreciate what she does. I'm always so proud of like the before and after. And you're like, oh, that's so underwhelming. Because I can appreciate your audio and music choices and all that, Thank but you. you can't really... Yeah, for me, yeah. I feel like you're not doing anything, I know. just wasting your time. <laughs> has Kuho had any difficulty playing video games? And has he tried any of the accessibility options? Yes. yes. Sorry, I just remembered something, but you go ahead. Nowadays, these games, they have these options, yeah. color blindness options, so you can change the game settings but back then they didn't really have that kind of options so I used to play the shooting games and I can't really see green and red I can't really distinguish that fast especially like shooting games you have to move fast as soon as you see the enemy you have to shoot and I was killing my own allies yeah because usually if it's your team they have like a little green arrow yeah and if it's the Enemy, enemy team, it's right. like the red yeah. ones, but you couldn't distinguish them fast enough and yeah. you were like friendly firing everybody. Yeah, so I got kicked out, yeah. So <laughs> it's funny when you think about it now, but I was devastated. That's so pitiful. And nowadays, thankfully, these game companies consider all, all the players. Yeah, it's yeah, really so. cool. Because even Diablo 4, which you've been living in for the last few days, they have different colorblind options for like four types. Three types of colorblindness? Three, three types. Yeah, I really appreciate these game developers. How did Kyuho deal with his colorblindness during his military service? Mm, all Korean men have to join the military service because South Korea is still a ceasefire. Me, luckily, I went to Katusa, so I was doing military service with American soldiers. Yeah, surprisingly, I didn't really have to use my color abilities, I guess. My job was radio operator and kind of computer guy. Oh. I guess I can't join special forces or something like that. I don't think so. Yeah. I think they're very specific when it comes to that. And like for special forces, colorblindness can be too much of a weakness. Yeah, I, I, on, plus like, yeah. you know, shooting games, I was killing my own team. Oh my like, God. I don't think I will be qualified. How are you with driving and traffic lights? Mm. We have a lot of questions like this. Like, can you even drive if you're colorblind? Obviously, I had to do my driver's license test. You have to pass the color blindness. I mean, I passed it. It's not like I don't see totally like black and white. Yeah, it's not like uh, I don't see red and green where that is. Yeah, it's just different reds and greens. Yeah, yeah. That you can distinguish. I can distinguish. Yeah, that's so I have no problem driving. Yeah. What was the biggest surprise? Like the color of something you thought was different before the glasses, obviously, trying. Yeah, I think I mentioned, but red color. Yeah. Yeah, that was really, really strong for me. I've never seen that kind of beautiful color before. Yeah, red. And also, I figured out that blackberry. Oh, yeah. They're not black. Yeah, I know. Like a dark purple. Did like colorblind person name that berry or something? It wasn't black. I, after yeah. wearing these sunglasses, it was like dark purple. We talk a lot about red, but because Kyuho couldn't really see red very well, it was the first time you also saw purple. Yes. You could only really see blue, but not like purple. Yeah. Because like purple has red in it. Blackberries and the red, I don't know what berries there were, but wow, that was just, that was amazing. Really. <laughs> Did you see or perceive Sarah differently wearing the glasses? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you were white. <laughs> Well, surprise! <laughs> I noticed the skin color definitely. Oh, yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah, especially when yeah. I saw my hands. I was like, 
whoa, it's like more reddish. Yeah, like a pink. Yeah, I noticed your hair color. I thought it was just brown, but it's not. If you look closely at my hair, like it has a lot of kind of uh, orange and like little kind of reddish tones in mm. it. And I remember we were walking one time in Canada to the path, like you were wearing your glasses and the sun was shining. And you were like, oh my God. And I just felt like this. You're like, wait, just examining my hair. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely noticed uh, the different, like a little more pinkish, reddish yeah. kind of things. Basically, the blood flow under skin is coming through and you can finally see it because it's like reddish. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was amazed by looking at my palm yeah. as well. <laughs> so far since getting the colorblind sunglasses, what are the most beautiful sights you've seen? Seeing the sunset. Jeju? In Jeju Island, yes. Yeah. Seeing the sunset definitely was one of the best. And the beach, the beach. in the afternoon. Right. The watercolor you've never seen before. The turquoise? Tur turquoise? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't even know how to see Yeah. The thing is that I can't really see the color. Because there's green and turquoise. Yeah, it's hard for me to memorize all these names as well. But uh, definitely the beach, the sunset. I don't know. like Fall. Fall, fall leaves was also the first time I yeah. experienced last year. That was very bright. The sky, oh. that's, that's why I lost it when I uh, wore these sunglasses for the first time. I remember. My partner is colorblind and I've wanted to buy the glasses you have. Do you think it's worth it? It was definitely worth it for me because I've never ever seen certain colors before and after wearing these glasses, I just, yeah, I had to learn all these colors again. Yeah. So it was definitely worth it for me. And I personally think that your husband also should take the test. Right. And then find out how severe it is and what kind of color blindness, you, uh, you know, he is. On the Enchroma site, they have a colorblind test. It'll tell you what type of color blindness you have and the severity of it. And then it'll give you some suggestions of glasses that would be perfect for you. Mm -hmm. And like this was one of the ones for Cuho and also the other style that we have with like the thicker mm -hmm. rims too. Because yeah, you have two. Yeah. In my case, it was definitely worth it. But for some people, it might take a little longer to adjust yeah. their eyes to see the other colors. I think it will be a great gift. I mean, for me, it was a huge, like really, really big gift from Sarah. I wish we had done it sooner, to be honest. Mm. But I'm really glad we ended up getting them. Yeah. Again, like we bought them with our own money. Like this isn't a sponsored video or anything. We just like, he tried them. They worked so well. So like we signed up for their affiliate program. And like, mm -hmm. if you want to try these glasses, if you're colorblind or have a colorblind loved one in your life, um, we do have a link and you can get 10% off your Anacoma glasses. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been an amazing tool for you. I like to wear these glasses yeah. whenever I can. Thank you for asking all these great questions. We had a lot of fun answering these questions. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.